Welcome to In Bed with Kevin. It's a new show where Kevin is in his air mattress at his apartment because he's too lazy to bring his, don't look at the socks, to bring his real mattress here. And also he's too lazy to go home to get his phone stand and microphone. So he's going to record in bed and try to ship videos out ASAP for attention, of course. So yeah, just a quick intro for this video. I'm going to sing, translate, and explain some Chinese songs that I like and hopes to help people who like Chinese songs but may not understand them as well or may not understand them at all but maybe you like it and maybe understanding what they're saying can help you like it even more. A little bit about me and why I'm making this video. Basically my mom told me that China was going to take over the world in 20 years and I should learn Chinese so that I could talk to my oppressors and possibly get food when everyone else is getting oppressed. But that hasn't happened yet so I'm over here just singing on YouTube. Yeah. Today I am presenting to you 7-Eleven by Hire Brothers. Hire Brother Worldwide Shit. Black Cop EP. I'm hungry. 7-Eleven. 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 7-Eleven, 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 Man, just 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 7-Eleven, Yeah, 两三年钟，想填饱肚子，为吃吃呀呀。哎，在我眼中，最美国可靠的都是军霸王。我胃口很大，全场都上下，我自己都感到害怕。不担心吵架，非常被遗，全靠实惠的买家把便当给我家人。用赚钱时间家人看着我开的开的拉克莎的，不用给我打字 ，bitch。一般都是喝的水，穿的是 under 费，张张嘴，每次都相当会，非常就像香水。呜，有日本的白头和泰国的泡面，让我神魂颠倒，都摆在我面前，不会让你抱歉，没胃口。一蛋包，买蛋糕还是买汉堡？被选择控制人干扰，忙了我都买，反正老子有钱，再加一分钱。Yeah. Well, I think the most beautiful part about the song is that it sounds like such a romantic love song, but if you actually understand the lyrics, it's like the funniest shit. It feels like a parody because they're just singing about 7-Eleven, singing about eating at 7-Eleven, singing about the food at 7-Eleven, how beautiful it is. Only like uh, Masway's verse is kind of like like more diverted off, but like DZ and um, Site P are just both talking about food. It just feels like such a smooth 7-Eleven song. Oh, they love 7-Eleven, and I'm so appreciated. But if you look at their lyrics, it's like, it's it's great. It's a great song. I love the song because it's so funny, and you feel like it's a parody, but it's not really a parody. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't appreciate 7-Eleven, but you know how like rappers like shout out like basketball players in their, like, in their verses? They're shouting out 7-Eleven, and I think that's wonderful. That's like super funny and amazing. He's just like, oh, it's 2 or, two or 3 a.m. If I'm hungry, I'll go to 7-Eleven. In my eyes, the most tastiest stuff, I'll just shove it in my bag, and my appetite is, like, huge. Even I'm scared of it, but it's okay. It's, like, it's 7-Eleven. Things are cheap. It's worth it. So, yeah, if you've ever been to a 7-Eleven in Asia, they have, like, bento boxes. They have all the great, like, everything you need is in a 7-Eleven. And so, uh, Saipi's talking about how, like, they have bento boxes. You just have to, like, heat them up. And he's like, oh, the clerk saw that I'm driving a Cadillac. And he's like, oh, he does, I don't need to give him a discount. He's like, bitch, I drink bottled water. I'm fancy like that. And I wear Undefeated, which should be some brand I should know. It's probably popular, but I don't know. Talking about how the food is pretty and it smells like perfume is great. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of food at 7-Eleven, and so Saipi talks about there's nigiri from Japan, there's instant ramen from Thailand, and he's just like, there's, they're making me head over heels, and there's just rows and rows of food, and you won't have any regrets if you buy them, because the taste is guaranteed. And then he's like, should I buy cake? Should I buy hamburger? Um, I can't decide, but fuck it, I'm rich. I'll buy both, and give me some dumplings with that too. Chinese fact. Um, in his last line, he calls himself Lao Zi, and he says, Lao Zi yo qian, zai jia fen jian jiao. So Lao Zi is a way to refer to yourself in Chinese in like a really like rude and unpolite way, which is like the opposite of like how Asian people are usually, because it's more of like a gangster way. Because usually, I know, I learned in like Chinese history, when you refer to yourself, when you're talking about yourself to other people, you kind of like 
belittle yourself in a humble way. So you're just like bi zhen. Or like if you're talking about your own house, you'd be like my han she, which is like my cold apartment, which is just like just saying like my house is even if your house is like a mansion, you'd be like my han she because you want to be like, oh, it's like humble and little. It's my little humble house. And so when you talk about yourself, you'll also be like bi zhen. It's like like putting yourself lower than other people. So it's like a way to, it's Asian people are just like gotta be humble. But Lao Tzu is the opposite of that, and it's like, I'm the motherfucker with money, and it's like a rude and unapologetic way to say, refer to yourself. And it's pronounced Lao Tzu. So the third tone and the zero is tone. Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu Yo Chen is, I got fucking money. Yeah, Chinese fact. <laughs> 我关上门包，不必了，是你的味道。琳琅满目的灵感，享受一季三满钞票。饭菜和沙拉都选择最纯天然的配料。爱如潮水的我心如香，平板把你喂养。野蛮好，你嫌我喵，天生天生的酷
So tell me, pretty little Jenny Lou, she ain't a 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. Put some money down, a thousand juice in a 7 Eleven. Higher Brothers! So, Masway's verse is less playful than DZ's and Psypees, but it really makes it flow, and it was like a great ending for the song. So, he talks about like there's not enough time in the world, and my schedule is always full. We started from the streets, now in the studio, and our goal is to become the record label bosses. Uh, we have high production, meaning like we're making a lot of songs, we're addicted to writing the songs, and higher, higher brothers work day and night, and there's no time to go and play, there's no time for movies, my girlfriend's kind of getting annoyed, and then, but 7-Eleven is there for me every day, I go there to refuel, and then I stay up all night again, and then I can like heat up some my bento, and get a drink, and then finish it all in five minutes, and go back to my crib, and then... Eating, sleeping, writing songs, and making beats. That's important. Everything else is extra. And the cashier at 7-Eleven, like, covers their mouth because they're like, oh, my God, they're actually our fans. 24-7. Judge a woman, do that attribute or 24-7. So they're talking about 24-7. This is our greatest difference from everyone else. 24-7, all of the people I've beaten, they're, they have no future. And then he talks about 7-Eleven. Ref put some money on dollars and t-shirt. That's like seven eleven refuel and then dollars and t-shirt. Um, literal translation means to shoot up some chicken blood, but I think that's like a metaphor for like refueling. Seven eleven, hi your brothers. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've been wanting to make these videos for a long time, but um, I've struggled with like perfecting it and like making it into like a format that people can enjoy. So I just thought I should ship something out quickly and just get feedback from people if possible. So this was like my test trial video and it would be helpful for me if you could just tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you think the video is too long, if you think the video is too short, if you didn't like my singing, I'll still sing, but you can tell me that you didn't like my singing and I'll still, I'll still sing. But like anything else, like if you think it wasn't necessary for me to like translate line by line, if you want me to translate line by line or if you just want to like just read it on screen, let me know and I shall take that and make more videos. Thanks.